back to my channel. I hope everybody is well and having a wonderful day. So for today's video, I've got a rather large thrift haul. I uploaded a video last night, which was a vlog of me on Tuesday. I went shopping, I went to the park, I went to play crazy golf in the evening and I took you along. So that went up last night. And originally I was gonna put the haul at the end of the video and show you everything that I bought that day. But because I knew it was going to be so long, I had to split the two up. So the shopping trip and everything is on the video from last night. And this is the second part to show you what I picked up on that day. The reason that I bought so much is that the RSPCA where I volunteer at had a flash sale. It was a one day sale. All items were a pound except from dresses. They were two pound and jackets weren't included or shoes and handbags. So I went a little bit mad. And I came home with this. So I bought all that from the RSPCA for a pound each item. I then went into my other charity shops that I absolutely love and I picked up another bag full of stuff. I've then got a smaller bag that I picked up from the Salvation Army at the end of last week. So I'm not gonna do this in any particular order. I normally save my favorite things to last. Just gonna pull the stuff out of the bags and yeah, we'll get into it. So grab a drink, it's gonna be a long one and relax and we'll start. So the first thing that I picked up was a skirt and just looking at this a minute ago, I realized that there is a button missing from it on the front and they are small wooden buttons and I don't think I'm gonna be able to find one that matches the one that's missing. So I think I'm gonna to have to buy all brand new buttons and, and put them on. I've got some buttons that I bought from International Aid, some gold ones that I bought to put on a black polo neck on the shoulders and on the sleeves. I bought 20. So I don't know whether to use some of them for this and then see if I can get some other gold buttons. But this is the skirt and it's knee length, just past the knees. It feels like silk, but it's not. It is polyester. It's of these beautiful browns and mustard yellows and a few bits of blue and purple. And I just absolutely love this. It buttons at the front and you can see that's where the this is the button that's missing. These are the small little buttons. And uh, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find any. And then it ties at the front as well. There is no label in it to show you where it's from, but there is a care label. And it all it says is that it's made from Italy and that it's 100% polyester. I thought this would look beautiful in autumn with black knee high boots and black tights and a black polar neck. So I've got, like I said, I've got 20 of them gold buttons. I think I might be able to do um, the skirt. It's a little bit too small for me at the moment, but I am in the process of working out and hopefully I'll be able to get into it this autumn. So yeah, that's the first item. Now, some of these are very basic things that I just needed to pick up, a few t-shirts, things like that, um, some jeans and some shorts. So I'm not gonna talk about them too much just because obviously we'll be here all day. So some of the items I will speak about a little bit more and then some items I will just pretty much show you and skip over. So the next item that I picked up was originally from George and I think this is actually to go over a swimming costume. It's actually quite sheer and it has a tie at the front and a couple of buttons down the front as well. It's in this beautiful white and green print leaf pattern. And yeah, I just really like the fact that it's quite sheer and it covers the shoulders. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that I burnt my shoulders pretty badly and they're still sore. Not yesterday's video, Tuesday's video. Well, it was yesterday's video, but I filmed it on Tuesday. It's been two days and my arms are still sore. My own fault, should have put lotion on. I burn really easy, so I know that I should wear it all the time. I just forgot to put it on when I left in the morning. And yeah, I'm looking for things that cover my shoulders and are still quite cool for over summer. And I just thought this would be really nice with a pair of denim shorts and some sandals. So yeah, I picked that up. Now, I only got a couple of dresses. I bought two and the dresses were two pound. And I keep buying dresses and I never wear them. I just feel so self-conscious in a dress. I think it's because... 
I don't wear them very often and when I put one on I feel overly dressed up um so yeah I think that's why I don't wear a lot of dresses but I do buy them occasionally especially if I see something that I like and this one is no exception to that this one was originally from coast and I paid two pounds for it and it's this beautiful cream and black leaf print dress it has black ruffle fabric around the bottom which ties in to the black straps and then it has a black tie around the i was going to say waist but i don't know if it is around the waist or just above the waist and it's beautiful i love the pattern and i can't wait to wear this on an evening out at some point and you'll get to see me dressed up in it when i do one of my vlogs and yeah for two pound i couldn't leave it there and then I also bought this dress as well, and this is from Warehouse, and it's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> There's so many things to it, it just, oh, honestly, trying to get it hung up is a nightmare. So originally from Warehouse, again, paid £2 for it, and it's of this beautiful cream and multicoloured print on the front. It has a gold chain for around the waist it is a alter neck which fastens with two buttons and then the back has got this really pretty detail that crisscrosses and i just thought it'd be really nice for all the summer and yeah um i will try and wear some more dresses and uh, get some use out of them but for two pound i couldn't leave it there isn't a single thing wrong with it no pulls no nothing and i just thought it'd be really nice and cool for all the summer especially on a hot day so yeah i just love the colors it's very bright makes me feel really cheerful so that was the last dress that i got i got some shorts and these are just basic plain shorts originally from next they're in a size 14 and they're a little bit too small for me um i don't know what it is with next clothes they always seem very small to me and um, the sizing and yeah i could have done with a bigger size but i also find that shorts they're always really short like i don't think they realize like how many people don't like having shorts right up to the bum but yeah i've been hunting for some longer ones i wanted some for over the weekend while i'm at my sister's and these don't fit but i do have another pair that are in this bag that are fine and i will wash them once i finish this video and then i can get them dry and ready for going up to my sister's tomorrow i just picked a basic blue t-shirt i love this color and yeah i just need some more t-shirts i wear a lot of t-shirts over the summer with jeans just really convenient and easy to put on um just without messing about when it's too warm you can just stick one on with a pair of jeans and then you're good to go so yeah i always look for t-shirts this is from F and F. It's this beautiful floral and butterfly print on a cream fabric. It has this stunning lace detail at the front. It's off the shoulders and then it has these loose fitting arms. And I thought this would be nice with a pair of jeans. It's quite baggy around the waist as well. So it's ideal for at the moment until I lose the weight off my stomach. I put so much weight on it during um, lockdown. I've mentioned this previously quite a few times. I've gone up one, two, gone up three sizes, which is not good. Um, and I don't want to be as small. I, I don't want to be as small as I was, but I do want to at least lose a drop of size so I get back into a twelve. I mean, I could do fit into a twelve top, but I'm in a fourteen bottom at the moment, and I want to get back to a ten and a twelve. So. That's where I'd like to be, um, just for myself, so I feel a bit more confident in myself and when I put on clothes. I'm at that point now where I put on clothes and I just, I find it hard to look in the mirror um, just because I know that I'm not the size that I want to be and I put stuff on and I think, oh, this would look so much nicer if I was a little bit sh slimmer around the waist. So I'm working out and I'm getting there, but yeah, at the moment, anything that's loose around the bottom i'm really liking because it just means that i'm not so self-conscious about my stomach so yeah that was a nice little find i got some jeans these were originally from dorothy perkins and 
they're in a very dark blue denim there is no issues around the bottom of the jeans it's one of the first thing that i always look for now you will see in my videos when i do thrifting that i buy a lot of pants um just because i really struggle to find any that fit me right i've got quite long legs so they need to be quite long on me and I find that a lot of them are too short or they don't fit right. So I do buy a lot but I don't keep a lot. I end up giving them to my sister. Anything that doesn't fit me I always give to my sister. She tries it on and if it doesn't fit she sticks it on eBay. She sells stuff on eBay so um, yeah I don't mind if something doesn't fit and passing it on to her. It keeps her busy and yeah she loves it. So um, yeah these are beautiful and like i said the ones that don't fit i just pass on so yeah i got them this jumper i absolutely love this is the most beautiful color and oh when i saw it i was like i have to buy this so i'm not too sure what size it is it says i'm medium but there's no label in it and it's quite baggy I don't know where it's from it's got a label on it and i can't don't know what label it is i've never seen that before but it's this beautiful crochet style top jumper with loose fitting sleeves and quite baggy and it's beautiful this color i do like a lot of crochet tops as i'm sure you can tell um i just really like them especially in summer where it's a little bit cooler and the sun's not out it's ideal to just put on and then you're covered but if it does end up going a little bit warmer you know you've got a lot of airflow so yeah i do really like this and i cannot wait to wear it i think it'll look nice with a pair of denim shorts and yeah i will wear that at some point probably with a white vest top underneath this top is originally from fire trap now i'm just going to pop it on the hanger because it's got a it's quite an unusual neckline and you can't really see it when it's not on a hanger i couldn't work it out in the shop i didn't know what it would actually look like i just saw that it was a sleeveless top and i thought well i might as well pick it up and it isn't really the kind of color that i would normally wear but i thought i would give it a go i'm trying my best to wear other colors my wardrobe has a lot of cream gray and black in it so i am trying to add some color to my wardrobe but it's got this so it's got this high neckline that ties and then it has these bits that hangs down from the front and i just thought it was quite unusual and yeah i thought i would give it a go it has buttons down the front but only halfway to help you get into it and i just really like the neckline um i knew there was something going on with it like i said i couldn't see it properly when it was on the hanger um whoever had hung it and put it out it wasn't like this but yeah um i think it's rather pretty and it's something that's a little bit unusual so i'm looking forward to giving that a go i grabbed a t-shirt this was originally from primark i mean i paid a pound for it but i can't imagine it was much more expensive than that in primark but it's just this pink or like coral color t-shirt and it just says los angeles west coast california on it 86 i don't know what the 86 stands for so if anybody knows that'd be great and could let me know again perfect with a pair of jeans and a pair of trainers on a nice summer's day this i absolutely love this now i've tried this on and it's a little bit too small it says on the label somebody's labeled it as a size medium there is no all oh, right okay there is there is a label in it and apparently it's from balman which is not balma the really expensive fashion house um this is i don't know i've seen ever seen this from somewhere and I filmed some t-shirts actually in yesterday's video with some lions on on the market and um, there was a white one with a gold lion on the front and there was a black one with a gold lion on the front and they were on the market and I really liked it and he wanted 15 pounds for them so and they they are the same make as them and it's this beautiful like waistcoat in cream with these large gold buttons on 
and it's absolutely stunning it's a little bit tight when i put it on it just kind of pulls here so once i lose a little bit more weight it will fit like a glove and i cannot wait this looks stunning on and i think it would look really nice with a pair of matching pants with maybe a black bralette underneath and some black shoes i think it would look absolutely stunning and yeah i cannot wait to wear this um it's beautiful on it's just a little bit too tight because it just starts to pull here but yeah once i lose a little bit of weight it's going to be perfect and this is one of my favorite things that i managed to find and yeah really like it so i'm happy with that I then bought this shirt and this is beautiful oh honestly this is stunning the print on this i fell in love with straight away and this is from jp and j barker h and m and it's quite a long shirt with long sleeves and it's this beautiful floral and bird print sorry that none of this has been ironed obviously it's just been shoved in a bag um but you will get to see me wearing this in future videos it has buttons halfway down and a v neckline and the colors in this are beautiful and yeah i cannot wait to wear this again fantastic for with jeans um and i think it will be beautiful on so yeah happy that i managed to pick this up I then just picked up a basic green top you know that green is one of my favorite colors and i do wear it sometimes not very often um i don't have a lot of green clothes but this one is just a plain sleeveless like shirt type top originally from peacocks in a size 12 and yeah I do really like this so this would be quite nice i don't know if i'll have it open with a black vest top underneath it's got two little pockets on the front and yeah again quite loose fitting so i'm all about that at the moment and yeah really happy with that i've only got a few more things left in this bag guys and then we can move on to the other stuff so again i picked up another pair of jeans these are from next these are in a 14 regular and these are boyfriend jeans and they're of a a lighter blue than the other ones that i got and yeah there's nothing wrong with them quite baggy pockets on the back and yeah i just wanted some baggy jeans i don't always like wearing tight jeans especially when it gets hotter and yeah i uh, will uh, get them washed and then i can start wearing them then i also got a, another pair of like combat pants and these were originally from i don't know because the label's been cut out where's the care label debenhams in a size 14 and these are just a light cream color quite long got zip pockets on the back and some pockets on the front as well and they fit tried them on and they're perfect three things these are the shorts that i bought these are from f and f in a size 14 and these are the ones that i'll be taking to my sisters and they are like this just plain green and they're just for sitting in the back garden when it's nice and i can get a bit of color on my legs um because i will be probably spending some time sat in the back garden and sunbathing so yeah they're fantastic and i'm gonna pop them in the wash as soon as i finish this i've got two tops left this one it was originally from george i'm gonna stick it on the hanger so you can see it properly so like i said this top was originally from george this is in a 14 but it's a loose fitting top anyway so i think it will be all right but it's this pinstripe in blue and white with a little bit of salmon color in it as well it's quite long again loose fitting around the stomach and then it has this tie so you can tie it and quite loose fitting large sleeves high neckline but obviously you don't have to have it buttoned up all the way to the top and i just thought this would be so nice over summer 
very loose so it will let air flow and yeah I will style this up at some point soon I think and wear this and yeah not something normally that I would go for but I really did like it I like the colours in it and yeah I thought it was quite interesting so there is that and then this top I was a bit reluctant to buy this I wasn't 100% keen on the colour for me it's not normally a colour I would wear and I can tell you this is stunning on. Honestly, I put this on and I was like, oh my, this looks so good on me. I'm not too sure if it's the colour of it, the fit of it or what it is. But looking at it on the hanger, it doesn't do it justice. It looks amazing on. And it's this like yellowish, greenish print with black in it. It's quite sheer and it has this ruffled neckline which ties at the back like so. It's quite long and flowing and then it's got these ruffled sleeves at the end. Let me get the arm the right way round. It's got these ruffle sleeves at the end and oh this looks fantastic on and I can't wait to show you what it looks like. I think this is going to look so nice with my black next pants and my planet black suit jacket that I recently picked up thrifting. I think this is going to look fantastic. I don't know what jewellery I would wear with it. I don't know if I would just not wear any or get something quite long and black to go with it. I'm not 100% sure so what this is absolutely fantastic and also one of my favorite things that i picked up and yeah i'm so glad that i gave it a go um one of the girls at work said it looks like a lizard and it has got a scale print in it so i can see why she said it but yeah it's so nice on and i'm so glad that i got it so glad so yeah that was everything from the pound sale or the flash sale at the RSPCA and we can move on to the next bag and like I said I'm sorry that there's so much but I went a little bit mad and yeah um, we'll get on to the other stuff as well. The next shop that I went in was International Aid and I always go in there it's one of my favourite shops everything is a pound and they will always have some really good bags. Now I'm not too sure if people are aware of this but most charity shops have a two week rotation of stock so what happens is you sort the stock you put it on out goes out for two weeks you date it as you put it out and then after two weeks it gets taken off now each charity shop is different with their rotation and not only that they're also different with what they do with the stock once it is taken off the RSPCA where I volunteer at it gets taken off and it gets put on a sale rail for a pound and all the other charity shops that do that are age concern and um I'm trying to think if I know anywhere else that does it I'm not too sure but I know the age concern in my area does it and obviously the RSPCA does it as well and then if it doesn't sell on the sale rail it'll get put into rags and then it'll get sent off to the rag merchant and we get money from that as well so it all gets used and we get money from different ways but it normally has a two-week rotation so international aid where I am um they don't seem to rotate it's really it's such a shame the guy that runs it the manager he's pretty much in there on his own. have a lot of volunteers he doesn't have any paid staff with him i also i always feel so sorry for him but i also i volunteer at the rspca so i don't like volunteering at two places at once but he doesn't do a lot of rotation so it means that there's not a lot of new stock that goes in all the time if it was being continually replenished and changed round. I would probably be in there all the time and buy a lot more than what I do but I managed to pick up a few bits every now and again and this time I picked up this dress now this was in the window it is a medium and it is absolutely lovely I've tried this on and it's beautiful but I feel like it's a little bit too short for me I'm gonna give it another go at some point but it's got this feather detail prints and then it's got these little gold studs around the neckline and on these sleeves and then it's got two little pockets i love a dress with a pocket i mean they're not fantastic you couldn't put anything in there that you didn't want to lose but i just thought this was really nice and like i said it was on the mannequin in the window and i had to get it um, my plan was i was going to wear it tomorrow to go up to my sister's i've got some shoes which i got from 
Salvation Army that I was going to wear them with. My sister texted me and said we were going to the supermarket on the way back to hers and I don't want to be walking around in heels in this so um, I'm not going to wear it tomorrow but it is beautiful. It was a pound originally from Apricot in a size medium and yeah I just thought it was a beautiful colour so I picked that one up. Then I grabbed this. Now, I've never heard of this make before, but it's made from 100% wool. I knew it was good quality as soon as I saw it. It's from the Make Gore. And it's this beautiful, long, flowing skirt. And yeah, I thought this would be beautiful in winter. It's got a really thin thick band it hides all my lumps and bumps when it's on and yeah it makes me feel a million dollars um because it hides everything it's so forgiving with weight around my stomach and yeah i just thought it'd be nice to have in winter if you've ever heard of the make gore let me know um but yeah i just as soon as i saw it i knew that it was well made um, and that it was good quality and yeah I just love what it does to my stomach so yeah absolutely brilliant that I picked that up and then I picked this one up and this is Betty Barclay collection and it's very bright I thought I would give it a go I have tried it on I'm not 100% keen on it it probably will go to my sister but I saw it as I was leaving and for a pound I thought I would try it it's this green and purple floral long skirt. It also has a tie around the waist and it's a little bit too loud for me once I put it on. I'm not too keen on the extra bit that they've put on the end. I would have preferred it if it was just all completely flat. But yeah, I thought I would give it a go and not very successful, unfortunately. But it was only a pound and I'm sure my sister will get some wear out of it. And if not, she'll put it on eBay. So yeah. I then popped into Age Concern and I had a look at their pound rail and I picked up four items. The first item that I picked up off the 99p rail is this fern cotton lace long top. And it does fasten all the way down the front. It's completely laced all the way and it has a tie from around the neck as well. It's in a white but it's showing up cream on the camera. Well actually no, it might be a very soft cream but I just thought it was so unusual and really beautiful and I thought I would give it a go. I did actually try it on in the shop and I'm still undecided about how much I like it on. Um, but yeah, it fits perfectly. There isn't a thing wrong with it and i thought why not let's see what it's like and um it's okay but like i said i'm not 100 percent sure how much i particularly like it i'm thinking with a pair of black pants and a black vest top underneath it will look amazing now there must have been a vest top underneath at some point it must have been a set and um i think it's been lost in transition but yeah, I just thought it was quite unusual and I thought I would give it a go. I do love lace. I think lace is very beautiful. I've always said if I ever got married, I would wear a lace dress. Um, that would be what I would go for. So yeah, I do like my lace. I actually bought two dresses from there as well. This one is stunning. This is originally from... I don't know there's no label in it is there a label at the bottom oh yeah uh, V by Vera and this is actually in a size 14 um, but it fits it's beautiful and it's this striped very long three-quarter length striped jumper dress and it's got half sleeves and I just love the colours of this and I thought again this would be fantastic in autumn with a pair of black boots and a black jacket I thought this would be really pretty and autumn is my favourite time of the year I love autumn I love wearing skirts with boots and just nice that it's cold enough that you can get all snuggly and not have to worry about it chucking it down but yeah I do love autumn so that will be going in my collection till then 
I got this now I mentioned that I'm going to an event at the town hall towards the end of the year and I'm looking for a gown or a very dressy dress and I did buy a vintage 80s one from the RSPCA quite a while ago um, and I do like it but I'm still keeping an eye out just in case and this was only a pound so far I'd give it a go it's in a size 14 it's originally from Oasis and it's in this beautiful green shiny fabric it's got all this detail at the front which is very hard to see exactly what it's like on a hanger and then it's got a beaded black ribbon for around the waist and yeah it's rather nice on i'm not too sure about this just because it is quite fussy but i will give it a go and see if i end up wearing it at some point but yeah it's beautiful absolutely beautiful nothing wrong with it no pulls in it no marks and yeah for a pound i couldn't leave it there so it came home with me and then the last piece of clothing that i've got is from next originally it's in a 12 you won't be surprised that it's a jacket can't help myself and again 99p and it's in this cream linen it's got this beautiful lace detail around the arms and then it's got it around the bottom of the jacket and then this detail up the front it's got eyes and hooks to fasten it and i have tried this on and it looks absolutely stunning tied at the front with the eyes and hooks and nothing underneath it just shows the top of a lace bra and i think it looks really pretty with a black bra underneath and some black pants i think that will look absolutely beautiful no marks no nothing it's stunning i love these sleeves details i think it's absolutely beautiful and yeah um really looking forward to wearing that at some point so i need to get it washed and then i've got a couple of items from the salvation army i didn't get any clothes but i've got a bit a few bits of jewelry and two pairs of shoes and then we're done i know it's been a long one and i hope you've enjoyed it um but yeah i've had so much fun so this is a ring i paid two pound for it and you're not probably going to be able to see but it's this beautiful like white diamond and gold ring it's obviously only costume jewelry but it is very pretty and i thought why not i mean i've not been wearing my rings this week i've actually taken them off i'm having some real issues with the skin underneath my rings because i keep using hand sanitizer they're starting to peel so this week i've had all my rings off which is really strange because i never take them off i've had them on for years but yeah, I'm just really struggling with um, where my rings sit and hand sanitizer and I've had to take them off. I then bought this chain for a pound and it's just black and gold um, and it's quite long. But I thought it would be rather pretty with my black polo neck. I do love black and gold together. So yeah, for a pound, I thought I'd pick that up. And then I've got two pairs of shoes. So these are the shoes that I was planning on wearing tomorrow with the blue dress um but they're comfy and i can wear them but i don't want to go around the supermarket in them so yeah they're not um they're not getting worn tomorrow so these are from next originally i paid three pound for them they are in a size seven and they are these beautiful brown sandals heels and yeah they're very nice i love the gold detail on the buckles and like i said they're 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 brilliant to wear but i just don't fancy walking around the supermarket in them so yeah i'm not going to wear the dress tomorrow so i'll grab them and then the last thing that i picked up was a pair of boots now i saw these a couple of weeks ago and i thought should i get them or should i not and i looked at them and i thought you know what they look really cheap um <laughs> don't buy them um they're not leather they're like a plastic they feel very plastic -y. they were one pound fifty um and they I've just bought a pair of black boots and I paid £4 for them and they're beautiful but these I just really like the gold detail on them on the side it's quite a large heel and they do look quite plasticky they're not leather um, I don't know what they're made out of I don't know it doesn't say I don't know what they're made of but 
I really like the buckles and I thought these would be really nice with a pair of black leggings um, and then obviously some kind of top to go with them but I just really liked that you'd be able to see the gold detail and I got them back and I put them on and these are the most comfiest things I've ever put on my feet honestly these are so comfy even with such a high heel it feels like I'm not wearing anything and I'm so glad that I picked them up because I'm never going to have these off honestly when I put them on I wasn't expecting it and yeah I'm over the moon that I picked them up so these are going to get a lot of wear I don't know how long they're going to last I think they're going to crack pretty easily but for £1.50 I was so glad that I picked them up and that was the last thing that I bought so that's everything that I picked up in the last week and a bit like I said I'm going to my sister's tomorrow I've packed everything clothes wise I've just got to pack all my stuff that I'm going to be doing in the morning and then I'm going up to my sister's. I will be back on Monday. I am going to film the whole process of me going and spending my time up there. I'm going to Cleveland's. We're going to be doing a lot of shopping on the Saturday. We're going to the car boot on the Sunday. I'm going to go and do a few bits tomorrow when my sister gets back because I don't think my sister's made any plans for tomorrow, but I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to be filming loads of different videos while I'm there. So Monday's video will be my vlog of the four days. And then the next couple of weeks, there'll be videos that I will film while I'm there. I know that I'm going to be going into Poundland and they've got a Pep and Co. So I'm going to film in there. I know I want to go in the works and do a video in there. I also want to do a video in Home Bargains. So that's going to be three videos there. I'll do one of me thrifting. So that'll be a fourth video. And then I'm going to do one of the car boot as well. So that'll be a fifth video. So And plus, obviously, my vlog one. So there'll be six videos that I'm going to do this weekend. Obviously, they're not all going to go up straight away. I will spread them out over the next couple of weeks. But I've got lots of filming to do. And there's going to be a lot of shopping as well. I've not been to the charity shops at my sister's for such a long time. I don't know how good they're going to be. I mean, my charity shops are fantastic. So I'm hoping they're going to be all right. And like my sister said, we're going to the car view on Sunday. So if I don't get a lot of stuff while I'm there on Saturday at the charity shops, I'm sure I'll pick up some stuff in the car view. I haven't been to a car view for about six or seven years. So I'm really excited about that. That's going to be so much fun. And I'm sure I'm going to find lots and lots of bargains. So I will start to film tomorrow and I will see you all on Monday. I am going to have a fantastic weekend. I hope you do too with whatever you're doing. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's been a long one, but if you've made it this far, thank you for sticking around and supporting me. And yeah, I'll see you after the weekend. So till then, bye for now and have fun.